helping me out, Jackson Jane. I thought I'd never find some place so lonely and deserted to set this up. This wasn't easy to find, but this island in the Pacific Ocean is perfect if you want a place without people. Yep, the only thing here are trees. No people at all. I don't even think there's even any animals around. What's this place called, anyway? Hmm? Ah, it's called Cake Island. There's a sign over there. Cake Island, huh? I wonder where the name came from. Hey, Kiki, what exactly does this machine do? I'm glad you asked. Well, it's a quantum... You get all that? Uh... I'll explain again. It's a quantum... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> well, let's just say that it's really sensitive and it won't work if it gets disturbed in any way. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all done. Wow, we finished pretty quickly. Of course, Kiki. With us around, everything's a piece of cake. <laughs> This camera will capture everything, and we can see it from Dr. Zeller's lab. Aha! Huh? Hmm. It looks like it fell over. I'm sure that the camera has recorded everything. Huh? The island? It shook! Of course! That's what it was! Do you know what happened, Kiki? It looked like the island was shaking. Yeah? How could a whole island move like that? There's only one way that could have happened, and I understand the name of the island now, too. It's not Cake Island. It's Quake Island. As in earthquakes. Oh! Wait. What's an earthquake? The word quake means shake. An earthquake is a natural disaster where the ground actually shakes. Ah, uh, the ground? What could possibly move this? The surface of the earth isn't just one continuous solid thing. It's a thin layer that's divided into different pieces and they move around. No way. Are you serious? Yep. This thin outer layer is called the crust, and it's where we live. The crust is made up of huge moving pieces of rocks called tectonic plates. Huh? Huh? They may move closer and collide, or they may move far away from each other. So the ground under us is always moving? All the time. But these different pieces of the crust move too slowly for us to notice. they can occasionally run into each other or slide past each other very quickly. When this happens, they can cause the ground above to shake violently. The place right above where the tectonic plates brush apart and shake the most is called the epicenter. But why did it happen there on the island? That island must have been near the edges of two tectonic plates. That's where most earthquakes take place. That's why places like California and Japan get so many earthquakes, too. Oh, I hope my machine managed to finish its work before it got disturbed. Aw, looks like it got disturbed just before it was about to finish. So, what do we do now? Should we go back there and fix it? No, we should stay away. It's too dangerous to go back there there might be a chance of another earthquake. We were so close, though. If we could put it the right way up for just a few more seconds, it would have finished. Look, it's happening again. An earthquake, whoa, it's really shaking everything. Huh? Aww. 
Don't say it. He's a quake. 